Hey guys, today I'm going to be crushing a 55 gallon steel drum, but I'm not going to use my hydraulic press to do it. Today I'm going to use just the atmosphere to do it. In order to go big, I collaborated with April and Davey from their famous YouTube vlog channel. Go check them out, April and Davey. So what they did is they heated up a 55 gallon steel drum, just like we did here. Let's take a look and see what happened. It's ready. Cheat kill. Hey, turn off the fire, babe. <laughs> you gotta turn off the fire. What? What is that? It's a lava too, babe. Oh, thank you. Righty tighty, right? Righty, tighty, right? Steam? Yeah, I, I can see steam. I can see steam, okay? <laughs> you better, you better spray it! Go, buddy! You got, you got the reaction tail! <laughs> Yeah, go, 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 It was gone for it again. <laughs> Made me jump. <laughs> That's scary. I, I was like ready to You're tap it. I was like, That was so awesome. That is metal. That's a piece of artwork. That's right? cool. <laughs> Using the surface area of the steel drum, you can calculate the force that the atmosphere puts on the sides of the steel drum. I calculate it to be around 34,000 pounds of force. Hey everyone, if you want to find out why this happened, why the atmosphere was able to crush this 55 gallon steel drum, head over to my science channel and I talk a lot more about it. I'll put a link up here for you to click on. Um, if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to my Hydraulic Press channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.